Most people would say, I can't believe you built this boat, but just watching me, they'd be like, yep, I can believe it. <laughs> Previously on Sailing Adrift, we started installing our bulkheads, which turned into quite the bonding exercise but ultimately ended successfully, and now we're down to the final bulkhead, which is all prepped and ready to go. We done? Because I cut that piece, it's ready to test fit. You want to test fit it on? Out of boy. Where do you think he goes? Uh, hey, you can play the hot cold game with him. <laughs> it's not quite in the right position, is it? I don't know. It looks like we need to go up in the day. We reflect the canvas is we're blocking it. We need to be true to top it. So we'll need the trim that, that thing right there. Multi tool. Here's the that thing. Thank you for that thing. It's called a multi tool if you're curious. It's in, success. It is in. So then we need to figure out where we want our platform, and then we need to put a shelf up here and a shelf down here to fit the uh, washer dryer unit in, and then we'll put a lid over the top. I don't see the need to put screws through this when we can clamp it. We'll just epoxy those two together, right? These two. Like shove epoxy in there and then clamp it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That way we don't have to worry about fixing screw holes. Okay, let's do this. So that is our black water tank. Yep. That's not what I call it, but that's what it is. I call it the duty tank. And it needs a stable platform nice and strong. That's what we're gonna give it. But these, wipe these down with some epoxy. Fix them with number 10 screws. Get in your hole. You've got a saucy mouth today. Get in your hole, Where are the holes for this? Not really lining up. One side. <clears throat> and this belly really mm -hmm. is two side. Put a lot more on that one. Yeah. There's a lot more on the bottom side. But we would have had to put some in here anyway for the shelf. Which is the next step. Nice segue. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that just fits. I test fitted it before. Nope, magic. Now we want a nice bead. That's a nice bead. On either side. Whoa, double beads. I'm just pulling in the little gap at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And spreading it with my finger. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Put a face plate on this thing. Ah, the old face plate. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the old face play! <laughs> Hi! What are you doing? Cleaning up your mess. This place dusty. Yeah. It's dusty. Had to do some grinding. You see that? Good work. Yeah, I mean it's not that bad, is it? Are you kidding me right now? Dust wise? No. Uh, I'm going to pull off some of these uh, clampies. So this one should be set in place and ready for tabbing. But first, let's just make sure that tank actually fits. All right, we're going to test fit it. Cool. Whoa, whoa. Careful. I wish there was a floor. Whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa. Can't see my feet. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's upside down. Bummer, man. Yeah, now all the poops going to fall up. 
That's not how that works. Oh, there we go. That's a good sound. It's a nestled, it's a nestling sound. And this will be where it empties out, either into the ocean, or sucked out through this hole. Then we have to put the two connectors on. That's gonna be a neat trick to try to figure out how to line that up. All right, I'm gonna call this a big win. We got bathroom walls, we got a tank to hold stuff and things. We'll just strap it in and then uh, put a little cushion on the bottom so it doesn't shift around a lot. Yeah, good work. Yay. Go team. Now for the shelves on the other side. These little shelves I have to make are particularly troublesome. Gosh darn it. So what I'm gonna do is hit it this here hot glue and then glue the shape so that I can take it down and cut the piece. And this one I'll just use the tick stick. We're gonna have a top shelf. We'll have a shelf up here that will be a little storage area above the washer and dryer. The area the washer and dryer sits in maybe just like a pull-out drawer or something down here where we can store some stuff on this weird incline. So that's the plan. So now we have to do it. Okay, let's see if this works. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're getting some liquidy glue. This is a fancy one, Kelly. Where did you get such a nice one? I've had it for many years. Only the finest made in Taiwan. It's a vintage model. So there's that. Now we just need to do it on this side. We'll have ourselves shelf. This would be the perfect plant shelf. Every well, lots man. of people have plants in their boats. What's to keep it from flying off? You glue it down? Well, you'd have like little recesses for your pots or something. Oh, uh, like holes in it? Yeah. And they fall through? Mm -hmm. You could put a little like square plant there in there. I don't care. I don't give two shits. I might do it. I'm gonna need some hobbies once yeah, we're floating we need, around. We need plants. All right. They think it's Spent enough time drying, or how long do you wait? Hot glue, the whole point of it is it glues fast. Just be patient. <laughs> well, at what point do you test it? How like fast is this stuff 30 set? seconds, maybe? Oh! God. There. It's a shelf. Yeah. I'm gonna go get the tick stick, and we'll get this one lined up. Okay, I've got all the things I need for these two. These are temporarily installed supports. This is gonna be the real trick, but I might see if the shelf that I make for this will fit up in this spot and then I can just extend it. Theoretically, in an ideal world, that would work, but it's not going to. Let's do this. Okay. Start with this one. What are we doing? We're gonna construct the interior of this cabinet. These have already been sanded and fit and, and uh, re they're ready to go, all right? Nice. They're ready to go. Clearly labeled. All right. All right. So here we go. That is a nice bead. Thank you. What do you need? What, what, can, what can I do for you? I need a screw though. I can help with that. It's already gross. Yeah. It's okay. That's why I have boat pants. Good luck rubbing that off. See, I rub it off and then I get covered in powder and then it just doesn't get sticky anymore. I'll just touch this wall and, and now I'm fine. Yeah, see, no more stick. It's like flour and pizza dough. Nice squeeze out. Okay, now we need the shelf. Looks great. Precision. Happy with how these turned out. Now I need the epoxy again. Okay. This will be the last little bit we do. Give it a nice fillet. No, we don't want to stop for dust to gather. We're very <laughs> anti dust. <laughs> I think I live in dust. I wonder what my lungs look like. Uh, I don't want to see mine. <coughs> I think I'm getting the black lung, Bob. Okay. I'm going to fillet this out. Ah, I could use another bag of epoxy. Would you be so kind? Okay. So, there's that shelf. This will be just to kind of reinforce everything.
So there's that. Now we got this other shelf. Oh. Easy killer. Good work, soldier. And this shelf is deep. I'm gonna have trouble even reaching to the back of this thing. Yeah, if you're having trouble, I'm definitely gonna be struggling. So that's why I should keep all my secret stuff that you'll be able to see but not touch. That's where you hide all the M&Ms. Can you hang the last shelf? Yep. This one? Only one thing left to install. Okay, let's put in the soffit. Just so happens just, I have one soffit. Just enough to do this. Ready to go. Most people would say, I can't believe you built this boat, but just watching me, they'd be like, yep, I can believe it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. Get in there. Yeah, just. This is going to happen. Alrighty, I think that's it. Now I just gotta let this harden. It sucks, cause that like really makes it tough to keep working in here. Oh well, pizza and beer time. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan. It was your plan. But before we do that, we should do, do one more thing. Installing our box. Which box? This one right here. Whoa. I was gonna leave it like this, but that seems silly. It does, that's so really I'm stupid. I'm epoxy in place. So we let the epoxy dry, ate some pizza, had a few beers, and then some midnight tabbing action. We went on a tap fest, super tap fest. We tapped in this, we tapped in the floor, tapped in some stuff back there we need to do. But I'm ready for some dinner. Seems like I said that a lot at the, these videos. Mm -hmm. It's time for dinner, but it is. I'm done. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. You don't like coming down here very much, do you? I do, there's just a bunch of tools in the way. Am I one of them? It's hot. It's hot, it's 85 today. So hot in this boat. 79 and the sun is out. That's why I'm wearing a tank top. Believe it or not, I only speak when I have something to say. That's uh, largely not true. Not your butt. Like, what are you doing fingering your butt? I'm not fingering them. That's the whole thing. Let's let's uh, ask the hive minds. What do you think, guys think we should do with this area up here? Because... I have an idea. Well, yeah. So, yours is dumb. So you can stand up, you liar. Well, that's different. <laughs> I've got clearance. Can we take my headphones off and stick them somewhere? Jesus. What? I said headphones, not head. <laughs> Catch. Beep, pop, beep, beep. Where's the door? Found it. On our headphones. There's the door. Why is there a glove on it? It's being washed. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> yeah.